So once again this year we've been very fortunate to come to this most sacred place, Vrinda Kund, and fall down at the lotus feet of Vrinda Devi and ask for her blessings to be engaged in the service of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. We know historically this place was very important and part of Krishna's pastimes and after Krishna left this planet it uh, gradually became uh, covered over and nobody knew where this place was. In the Lord Chaitanya's times it was rediscovered and again it was lost and in recent times uh, it was uh, discovered and protected by the great saint Madhava Das Baba. Madhava Das Baba is a disciple of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur and uh, of course the god brother of Srila Prabhupada. He was also a great scholar but also a great could say uh, protector of the Dom. He did many things to protect different tar type uh, parts of Vrindavan and he protected the Parikrama path around Govardhan Hill and he um, developed this place and near the end of his life he had the uh, desire to turn it over to Iskon, Srila Prabhupada's followers. Srila Prabhupada of course established the worship of Tulsi Devi, Vrinda Devi all over the world. So we owe a great debt to him as well as Dina Bandhu, Daivi Shakti and others for uh, making this place available to us.
First of all, we come into contact with uh, Vrinda Devi through Tulsi Devi. We worship Tulsi. It's said by Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur that Tavai Vimurtis Tulasi Triloke, that when Vrinda Devi appears in this world, in this world of men, that uh, she appears as Tulsi Devi. And she's very kind. Sakir Anugata Kora, we worship. Tulsi Devi to become a follower of the Sakis and to be engaged in her service. So in her original form, she's a very dear gopi friend of Srimadhi Radhika. She's Krishna's Leela Shakti. She's an expansion of Srimati Radharani. And uh, of course she expands herself partially as Tulsi Devi. And she arranges for all the intimate pastimes of Krishna. different forests in Vrindavan, 12 forests, and she arranges uh, for Krishna and Radharani to come there at various times of the day and engage in, in their, those pastimes. So, so she picks the, the perfect forest, she arranges for the trees, the creepers, the, what birds will be there, what gopis will be there, who won't be there, and what instruments will be played, what songs will be sung. Along with Purnamasi, they come in the morning to this, uh, this beautiful spot, Vrindakund, and they make all these arrangements. And when everything is set, when everything is ready and everybody knows what to do, she sends out her parrots, they inform everyone, and then the day begins. And Radha and Krishna come to Guptakund, which is just behind here, and this is their first morning pastime. So it's a very important place and we pray to Vrinda Devi to be engaged in the service of Radha and Krishna and to develop the kind of love and service mood that she has. So Vrinda Devi ki jai, Srimati Radharani ki jai, Srila Prabhupada ki jai.